everyone. Today I will introduce the CAD function of VRDK. First, enter the CAD draw interface to load the topographic map. To make the interface more legible, we can click the swatch background to change the background color or click the layer to hide the corresponding layer. When carrying out field work, we can draw and modify the CAD drawings on the controller according to the field conditions. For example, here, if you found there are objects that are marked on the drawing previously, you can add notes on the drawings for further complements and testing. We can use the survey function to measure the area and distance of objects on the map. For area measurement, select the corners of the object in turn and its area value will be displayed on the screen. The same goes for distance measurement. Next, we will carry out CAD stakeout of the selected area. Return to the stake CAD. Click the map select sign to select the stakeout target. And click the sign again to set the stakeout parameters. There are two stakeout methods, stakeout by node and stakeout by station. Here we choose the stakeout by node. Approach the points as the dotted lines indicated. After setting out the corner points of the area in order, we will get the stakeout result. We can also click CAD setting to set the data field. If there are both a work coordinate system and a user coordinate system in the imported CAD drawing, users can switch between the systems by clicking the coordinate switch icon according to their needs. When we enlarge the interface, the arc may not be drawn smoothly. We can click the repeat function to refresh and make the drawing correct. When using the Explore Object function to explore the block, we need to click the Map Select to select the block to be explored first. And then click the Explore Object icon to explore the block. The unit of length set by the controller software is usually a meter while the unit of the imported CID drawing is a millimeter, so the user can click the length unit switch icon to switch between the units. That's all for the introduction of the main functions of CID. Thank you for watching.